Hey, it's Bitburner, and hey, I saw some posts in the Blip Interactive forums for Nano Studio about how to get your beats from, say, something like iElectribe um, over and into uh, Nano Studio. Now, what we'll use is something called Audio Copy, which is built into a lot of these um, iPad and iPhone uh, programs. And you see, I have a, a beat here going. Okay, so I want to take this beat and I want to write it and I want to export it and I'm gonna bounce the pattern okay so I bounce the pattern and now I'm gonna share that pattern and you can see here's the pattern right here at the top that I just bounced okay so down here in the lower corner I have audio copy so I'm gonna hit audio copy and I'm gonna hit copy audio and you can see that I have Nano Studio going right now and I'm gonna hit launch and it's going to switch to Nano Studio. Now here I am in Nano Studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to click a pad that I want that particular beat to go onto, and I'm going to go over here and click Load. And now you don't really see anything, but if I hit this Paste button, you'll notice that it takes me to my pasteboard items, and this is an actual different place um, in, in inside your your kind of file browser. And you'll see the one at the top is the one I want. All right, so that's the one. Um, do I want to paste this into my projects folder is what it's asking and I say yes this, so this is basically me choosing this is the one that I want to be saved in my project folder so this is now my there might be other stuff in here if you've already got a project going and you already have files saved in here other waves and stuff I don't have anything in this project so this is all you see and now I'm going to load it so what I've done is I, I copied it I see all the stuff on my pasteboard and then I paste it into the the basically the project folder and now it's on this pad and so when I click it it'll actually play it. Now I have it on trigger right now but I could actually put it on loop and actually play this over and over and over and over and over again so um, then I can um, there's one other trick you know I wanted to make sure that the, the beats per second here match because um, probably in my song uh, the beat the BPMs are different than what they are in what I set up for an iElectribe. I so I might have set it for 140 BPM in iElectribe. So I need to make sure that my BPM for my project is also set to that or things will be really offbeat if I try to um, you know add in some more kicks or snares or any some some more stuff or even my synthesizers when I set the L, uh, LFOs um, to go with a beat, um, the beat will be off. So 140 BPM, and now I could use that particular um, sample in my project. All right, that's audio copy, guys, for Nano Studio. I hope that helps you guys. Have fun.